Hi, my name is Mikus and in this video I'm going to share my thoughts and experience with the Weeble 3 and uh, let's see what's so special about this gimbal. New L-shaped body design with extendable sling structure and and added wrist rest. There is more to say about this part of the gimbal so we're going to get back to it a bit later. But now check it out. The Weeble 3 has a lightweight body that weighs 1130 grams. Compact yet powerful motors and optimized stabilization algorithm, improved axis locks, upgraded quick release system with dual quick release plate, embedded magnetic wrench, customizable wheel and trigger, built in fill light with adjustable color temperature, built in microphone, and runtime up to 21 hours. Well, of course, that is under certain circumstances and uh, probably using a really specific uh, setup on it, but you get the idea. The runtime is impressive. I actually received this gimbal some time ago and uh, before I could finish up this review, life happened. Gone, gone. Yeah, I spent the last couple of weeks like that and all because of a unfortunate basketball play but you never know when that kind of thing can happen. At this point I can't run or do the ninja walk yet, but it is nice we shot some cool footage right before I sprained my ankle, so check it out. Roll the clip. For the shoot I used the Sony a7S II with the Samyang 35mm 1.4 lens which is a relatively heavy setup and I wanted to test how the gimbal would perform with uh, such weight on it. And it did well. There were no problems balancing the setup on the gimbal and I think the Weeble 3 could actually handle a heavier setup as well. Now about the performance, it was great. I was able to get nice smooth shots with all kinds of modes like POV, lock mode, Wardex, and despite the fact that this uh, gimbal is relatively small, its motors are powerful and it is possible to get perfect shots with it. But that's not all that makes the Weeble 3 special. The design and ergonomics. Wow. I have to admit that at first the new design uh, seemed surprising and I thought I wouldn't use uh, these parts like the wrist rest uh, because like no other gimbal before had it and it just seemed odd but after i tried them wow they actually make a difference and the wrist rest uh, really helps to take off some of that weight and uh, makes working with the gimbal much more convenient so this is a nice element they have added and the grip the grip feels fantastic in uh, the hand it reminded me a little bit of the crane m3 but only, I would say, a little bit bigger. By the way, the sling grip and the wrist rest comes with the gimbal in a combo kit and not in the standard kit, so keep an eye out for that. Design-wise, there's only one thing to look out for, and that's the joystick right here. If you're using the gimbal in your right hand, then it is nicely placed and you can uh, easily get to it and control it. But if you would use the gimbal in your left hand, then there's actually no way to reach it. So look out for that. To sum it all up, the Weibo 3 seems uh, convenient and really easy to use, smooth and the overall performance seems great. And most likely it's going to be my go-to gimbal in the upcoming projects. What are your thoughts about the Weibo 3? Let me know in the comments. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because once my ankle gets better, I will ninja walk all over the place and that means more gimbal content on this channel. See you in the next one. Ciao!